what's going on guys so um it was i wanted to just touch bases and talk about some things um well not necessarily some things but kind of you know my normal rant of just my hair is <laughs> trying to get trying to get cute for y'all and shit fuck yeah but anyway <laughs> um I was just um, talking with um, someone close and dear to me, and um, you you never know um, what people are going through. Um, I battled and I suffered with depression for years, and a lot of people may not know that that know me, and I still battle with it off and on. Um, but for the most part. I try and shake it off now and, and and get back focused. But it comes from a lot of the things that I've been through. Like I said, I don't know if I told you all before, but I lost a child um, after he was born. Uh, he was, I had him at 32 weeks. And he passed away because he had issues with his lungs. Uh, they never developed. Honestly, after the autopsy, I know that I realized in reading his autopsy and understanding a lot of reasons why they uh, were hiding so many things from me is because they actually punctured his lung and did not want to tell me. Of course, because that's a major lawsuit and being that... Uh, the university or where I had my child at in Chicago, they don't like to, you know, a lot of attorneys and things like that don't like to deal with them or uh, sue them. So it, it was kind of hard. But plus that wasn't going to bring my child back anyway. So, but anyway, I, I, I went through that. And then like, I think the same year uh, I lost my, my daughter's father. He was killed. He was executed on New Year's Eve, and I battled that along with dealing with just my own issues growing up and being physically, not necessarily sex. I wasn't ever sexually abused by, you know, my stepfather, but more so like just verbally abused and uh, physically you know, from a little girl. Um, and just those things still ran through my mind and I've been battling a lot of those issues and things like that. Um, a lot of people don't like to talk about um, when they're abused because in the black community, we are always told to suck it up, brush it off, let it go. Uh, we are never encouraged to speak to any type of counseling uh, or anyone. We, <laughs> we're always told to ignore it. That does not work because then you go on to create issues for the next person, like your children. This is how generational curses start. And this is why so many um, not necessarily, I'm not going to always just say in the black community, but most majority of it is in the black community because Caucasians and white people, they'll go to see a, a therapist or a shrink in a minute, go get some medication. They don't care. It's us that care about what other people think. They're going to go get some help. They're going to go seek it. And when they go snapping off and killing people, that's why they don't go to jail <laughs> or they get committed to the mental institution. Because it's already on record that they got mental issues. But let us snap off and, and shoot somebody. Oh, we either on drugs or we they don't want to find out why we acting a damn fool. They don't want to say, oh, we got post-traumatic stress because we grew up in a neighborhood where we're seeing our friends uh, get killed or we're seeing neighbors or people that we went to school with get killed. Uh, they don't think we supposed to have post-traumatic stress from that. But it's okay for white people to have it. And that's the shit that bothers me because they feel as though 
they they put labels on certain races and it, and this is not really about race and it and, and it's a bigger agenda they just they just don't want us to it's it's really a part of them not wanting us to know who we are and how powerful we are uh like I said, it's power and it's more power in numbers. That's why they keep us divided. We have to stick together. We have to teach one another. Um, I'm an open book. I'm trying to be open with you all so that I can relate and let you all know that you're not alone if you're going through some of the issues that I've gone through. Whether you've lost a loved one, a brother, a sister, or someone to um, violence. Because most of us in our, in the hood, you know, have suffered those things. I'm not in the hood or whatever anymore like that. But I was raised on the south side of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? I've been through some things. I've seen some things. I've, I've seen some things. I've been in the midst of some things that I may not, I don't, I'm not going to speak about. But I've been, I've been around the block. I've seen some things, you know, so those alone was enough to have me, to give me post-traumatic stress. Um, and that's what I was actually diagnosed with, severe post-traumatic stress and severe depression. And people don't think that They feel like you got to be strong all the time. And sometimes you have to talk to people. Even celebrities go through these things. They don't, I mean, a lot of them, yeah, they choose to be celebrities. But a lot of it, a lot of the time, it's not necessarily because of them wanting to be known. It's really to kind of feed their family and get their family up out the hood or something like that. It's always something like that. They Fame just came. And they definitely, I know if you ask a lot of celebrities, nine times out of ten, they wish they were not famous. They would have just preferred to have the finances and the money and the financial stability. But fame, like me, I would never want to be famous. I don't, I'd never want to be famous. I get on here because I want to reach people. I want to speak to people and let them know that they're not alone going through these things that everybody goes through them. and to not be depressed because you're, it's not that you're not normal. You are normal. This is the normal. It's society that makes you think that you're crazy or something is wrong with you when majority of the people on earth go through depression, sadness, and have mental issues. You know, that's the norm. Really, honestly, with how society has become. And now it's social media and things like that. And that's out here. You got different platforms. Now we should be able to come out and speak about these things instead of holding on to it. But um, I just wanted to speak on that. Um, I'll, it'll be more. I'll have more on this subject um, on my YouTube channel. I'm going to talk more in depth about it. Um, so. You all can uh, follow me on YouTube. Um, I'm also on there as manifesting my life underscore two. Um, and we can get a little, I'll get a little deeper and I'm able to talk more. Um, eventually, I'm going to go live to where I can ask, answer questions and uh, things like that if you all have them for me. Like I said, I'm an open book. I don't have no problem with discussing things if you can relate to shit that I'm talking about. That's who I'm here for. I just want those, I want y'all to know that y'all not alone. Y'all not suffering. Don't suffer in silence. Don't go think that you're going through this by yourself. Don't, you know, I'm here. We're here. Some people just need nurturing. Some people didn't have their parents around. You know, their parents were strung out on drugs or in the streets and too busy to love them. You know, you're not the only one. Other people have gone through that as well. But um, check out my YouTube. I'll go in more depth um, with this conversation. Um, but you're not alone. We all go through it. I love you. 
Have a good day.